Hello everyone, I'm Jack at F40 and today what I have at hand is the Freemax Star Pro Subbomb Tank. I know there are lots of reviewers on uh, YouTube who has done lots of reviews on this tank. But today my purpose of making this video is not to introduce how uh, the, the performance of it. Actually, uh, my purpose is to uh, solve problems for some of our clients because we have so, so many of these items in the past few days. And as we know from the feedback, uh, they have some uh, confusion of its, uh, of, its, of its leakage. But there is actually no leakage if you, uh, if you perform it uh, right. So let's take, this, take a look at this uh, tank first. Mm. Okay, this is a transparent glass presentation. And it comes with, uh, there is an install, a pre installed 0.25 ohm coil, uh, which is a um, nickel coil. And co coming with it is a 0.15 nickel coil also. So, um, some, the, the major characteristics of this tank is of its sub ohm performance and also its temperature sensing coils. So this tank is basically uh, suitable for lots of uh, temperature control mods uh, currently in the market. Actually, because it is, uh, uh, just because of its sub uh, uh, se uh, temperature sensing coil does not mean that it only can be used for this uh, sub uh, temperature control mod, because it can also use uh, candle coils along with it. So this is a very um, versatile tank, I have to say. Um, if you take a closer look at this tank, well, it is all, it is all di disassembled. You can just uh, take off the top tip of the mouthpiece because this mouthpiece is made of two parts. First is the top tip and second is the uh, bottom base, the base part of this mouthpiece. Uh, mouthpiece. So the point is, this is a top filling tank, so it's very convenient for vapors to uh, refill the e-liquid in it. All you need to do is to press on this coil, sorry. All you need to do is to hold, hold firm on this node, uh, node, uh, on this part, and then screw it. This is how it works. Well, speaking of which, this is this cup. Uh, this part deserves your attention because some customers they need to know that you can, if, if you notice carefully, there is a tiny hold on this part, and the function of this hold is to make sure that the uh, pressure which, uh, in and outside of this tank remains the same. When you finish, when you, uh, when you finish refilling this tank, you uh, get it back. You turn it, and while in in this process, when you are covering this cap, um, this tiny hole actually remains open for the pressure for the air from outside to coming inside. This is the way by which they maintain the same pressures of the out, in and out in and out of this tank. Well, after you secure and seal uh, this cap, you make this do make sure um, that you turn it back on to the off part. There is an arrow here, so you need to make sure that. This arrow point correctly to this uh, to the off to the off part. Off means the tiny hole is sealed off, is secured, and so that there is no leakage, and the e-liquid inside the tank will remain secure too. So when you uh, when you turn it to off off part, then this tank is ready to vape on. Okay. And actually, we did some uh, we did some testings on this tank. For example, this tank can 
withstand a huge uh, pressure differences in different uh, pressure difference and also temperature dip changes in different environments. For example, when you are driving a car, you place it right in your car for like several hours, and even if you uh, take it out from the car and vape on with it, uh, you won't experience any uh, bad feeling of uh, leakage from the tank. So basically, leakage is not a problem at all if you do it properly. Okay, I think that's it because there are lots of um, reviews over already available here in this uh, YouTube channel. In the YouTube, I uh, so I think there's no point, no point for me to to uh, to talk more about its performance. And if in, by any chance you would like to visit our product product pages, please click click the link to link below um, to for the detailed information of this product. Okay, I think that's it. Hope this helped. Maybe we will see you next time for different products. Bye bye.